sluggish, lazy, partying all night, antisocial. These are just a few key words I've been stereotyped as a student. Believe me, I've heard much worse, and I'm sure other youths have had similar experiences. There seems to be this negative stereotype around those who go to university. It's all about partying and drinking. It's putting off real work and real life. It's finding yourself and engaging in new experiences. But how do you find yourself when others have this bleak representation of you? It is not often that youths feel they have a say in real life matters or a voice or a personality outside of the stereotypes. So how do I know this? Well, firstly, I've been a student for as long as I can remember, nursery, primary, secondary, college. I've done an undergraduate, I've done a master's, and I'm now looking to start a PhD. Secondly, I have been a big advocate for young people's voices for over four years now. In my undergraduate, I was a course representative, course representative, course rep, <laughs> um, representing the student voice. My master's thesis looked at educational policy and engaged in young people's voices and experiences, and my PhD is of a similar nature. It wasn't until recently I'd realized how much of my work and time had been dedicated to the student voice. Again, but why? Why am I so passionate about young people's voices being heard? In 2019, I was given an opportunity to become a student researcher and work on a piece of research. Yes, real life, real work kind of stuff. The research looked at gender, self-awareness, and leadership in a higher educational institution. I was working with all kinds of academics, professionals of different levels, qualifications, job titles, and it was incredibly daunting. I thought I'd be a skivvy of sorts to aid the professionals, because why would my voice, why would my opinions matter? This is a project about leadership. I hadn't any leadership qualities. I was just a shy, quiet, geeky, lazy woman who barely spoke unless spoken to, as you can see here and I'm really outing myself with that picture. The labels that had been attached to me, quiet, lazy, shy, really started to play on my mind, and it became how I perceived myself. It really brought me down, and it became a self-fulfilling prophecy. In sociological terms, a self-fulfilling prophecy is where a label is attached to us. This label can be given by friends, family, wider society, and it plays on our mind, it creeps into our consciousness. I know for a fact when I was called lazy, it made me think, well, what's the point? I'll stay in bed another hour. And when I did actively try and fight the lazy stereotype and was up and out of bed for nine o'clock sharp in the morning, I was met with, oh, nice of you to make an appearance, or the, oh, you're up early which I'm sure is a universal experience for all young students. But this does further perpetuate the stereotype, and I know adults are just joking, they're having a laugh with their children, but it does play on our mind. I really started to get down. I'd been called lazy and this quiet, shy person, and that's not who I wanted to be. But no matter what I did or how hard I tried to work against it, that's all I was seeing. So, back to the student researcher job. To my amazement, I was given opportunity after opportunity, and I ran with it. I was able to write the interview schedule, conduct some of the interviews, code and analyze the data, and I'm now hoping to co-author a paper, all in which quiet, lazy, shy Robin would not have accomplished without my amazing colleagues. My voice, my perspectives, my age, all played a part in how the project went and turned around. We were able to implement different things. So a year on, and I've spoken at an international conference, I've planned, hosted, and facilitated a student-led leadership event, and I'm now starting my PhD. 
again, all in which quiet, lazy, shy Robin wouldn't have done without my amazing colleagues. They believed in me. I was listened to. So what am I really emphasizing here? To businesses, to employers, I'm challenging you to take part and challenge and change the way you perceive young people. Take a look at your boardroom meeting. Are there any under 25 year olds present? And are they listened to? If not, why not? There's so many opportunities you can provide for young people. Over summer, provide an internship or a marketing spot. It can be volunteer, it can be a voluntarily spot. Um, it can be anything you want it to be. It can be as simple as providing a sponsor for a youth group. The opportunities are endless. And again, for adults or grown-ups, challenge the way you perceive young people. So stop and think before you call your teenage son lazy or the university students next door sluggish, because I can assure you we are much, much more than that. And for students, I'm striving for you to get involved in new, scary, daunting experiences. I know it can be awkward, I know it can be embarrassing, but you have to put yourself out there. The career opportunities are going to be so enriching. I know you all have a voice. You all are, have ideas worth sharing. So challenge, change, collaborate. Thank you.